battery chargers, tripods, tripod heads, tools, memory card readers, audio accessories, cables, things to shoot with your phone. These are all things that help me very practically when it comes to shooting videos and photos. The first one is the iFootage Komodo K5S head for putting on top of your tripod. The primary function for me with this is when I want to use longer lenses to take photos, think 200, 300, 400, 600 mil if you're shooting in crop mode, you need really finite adjustments. And when I'm using a typical ball head, I find when I loosen it and then tighten it again, it just, it doesn't really stay where I want it to stay. With this, you can loosen the knob off here, very slightly adjust it, tighten it back up again, and it doesn't change whatsoever. So it's much easier to get a better shot when you're zoomed in really far. You can put this on whatever tripod you wanna use, and I've been putting it on my next favorite thing, which is this tripod collab from Ulanzi and Photo Pro. This is the X Aircross F38 carbon fiber tripod. This does come with the F38 head, which I use my own plate on top of, but you can take this off. So you just unscrew it there. And then I can put my Komodo plate on the top of it. But the reason that I love this tripod so much is a couple of reasons. It's super light because it is carbon fiber, but also it's the fastest tripod to put up and to take down because it's got these twist lock legs. That's it. Lock it. You want to change the height twist it there, it stays there. If you want to go a little bit shorter, twist it there, it stays there. So you can see how quickly and easily that is to set up and to take down. It is worth noting that with the legs, no matter where you twist it, it does stay there. It's not that you have to extend it all the way and then that's the only place it locks. It's whatever point you unlock it, twist it, that's where it stays locked. And you'll feel that there's like different points of twist. There's three. So if you just twist the one, it just does the first leg. If you twist the second one, it does the second leg. It won't come out any further. If you do the third, it does that. So you can do it in stages as well if you wanted to. I will say that there is a little bit of flex in the legs, a little bit more than I'd like, but it's the payoff that you have to deal with when you are looking for travel friendly gear that is typically lighter. I could get something that is much sturdier heavier, but it's also gonna be bigger, heavier, and then that doesn't really work. So this is like the perfect balance of speed, weight, and efficiency. This is the next one, and it is a pro-grade USB-C card reader that I can plug the memory card in, straight out of the camera into here, and put this into my iPad and dump photos so I can edit them straight away. But now, with the iPhone 15 Pro, I can literally, I'll show you right here, click on photos, go import, and it shows me all of the photos that I've taken and I can import the RAWs or the high quality JPEGs straight to my phone, which is huge because I'm doing more and more things on the go now and for socials and stuff like that. So having the ability to take a photo, nice photo with my camera, put it straight on my phone now, iPad is great, but phone's even better. That's really important. And I like the fact that it's pro grade because it's nice and fast. It goes very well with my memory cards, which are all pro grade as well. This also has a micro SD card slot there as well as a regular SD card. So if you want to dump GoPro or anything else that you're using drone, I guess, footage onto your phone or tablet, because you can edit in Final Cut Pro now as well with that, then you could do that as well. CRD bag pouches. Now these are a way for you to organize your camera equipment. I'm a huge fan of these in general. I've been using them for the past year, but they actually have a bunch of new products which go very well with these. So they wanted to sponsor a segment on this video. Now these are a premium product. They're not cheap, but they're also incredibly high quality. Like this plastic, it's not gonna rip or tear. You kind of have to feel these to see what I mean. Your Velcro up here, which you can change. I have my accessories and cables in here, my monitor equipment, HDMI cables. I have these all neatly organized on the wall so I know what is in where. It's just a really great way of having everything separated, not just dumped in a drawer. Tactical hook up here, which is made of metal, which can connect to a wall system they have as well. And there is a little insert here, which you can put labels in if you wanted to. And they do sell them or you can make your own. Now the pouches do come in different sizes. This is a large, this is an extra large, and this is a medium. There is also a small one as well. Now inside each of the pouches, a separate organization zipper in there. And inside that zipper thing there for an air tag. Zippers on the top of these is rubberized and they are YKK zippers as well. These are their Y wraps. Now these are for protecting lenses and other pieces of camera equipment when you have them packed in other things or if you have them in one of the pouches. They come in small, medium and large. If you wanted to put a lens in one of these, pop that over there, pop that over there like that, pop that over the top like that. And then you've got a little elasticated part here which folds over, tighten that up. If you want to, you can put that 
over there. And now that lens is in a padded protective case. You do have the Velcro on there so you can put your tabs on there. And there's also a clear window for putting labels in there too. So if you did wanna just throw a lens in here, sometimes I'll be traveling with my carry-on and I don't have enough space in my actual camera bag. So I'll put extra lenses and put like a sweatshirt around them inside my carry-on. So that's a good option for that. They also now have this PALS adapter, which you can put through a bag, you can put through a belt, and you have a way to mount multiple of these to this if you wanted to. On the back of each of these bags as well, there is mounting options here. So with the PAL system, you can just connect these up like this directly to your belt or multiple if you wanted to. They also have a bunch of CRD straps that you can buy now as well that come in different sizes for mounting things to other things. And they make their own sling, which is specifically for attaching to these pouches if you want a way to just carry it over your shoulder as well. Thank you CRD for sponsoring this section of the video. I'll put links to everything we chatted about down below for you. The Tascam DR10L Pro, the new one. The original is something I've loved for years, shooting weddings. It's an incredibly reliable piece of audio gear. Auto closes files if it detects the battery is gonna die. It records at two different sound levels, so you always have a backup in there. Just a fantastic piece of gear. The new one is 32-bit float. So you get all of the amazing stuff with the old one, but also now 32-bit float. And it also now, it has a Bluetooth dongle in here, right in the top, which you can buy separately, which allows you to take a look with their app at if it's recording. Now you can't actually listen to the audio, but you can see the waveforms to make sure it's recording. You can start recording, stop recording. So that's really useful as well if you wanna be able to see if it actually is recording. But Tascam TR10L Pro, this is the cheapest 32-bit float recorder that you can get with the negative being that the only input is 3.5 mil, but that is a locking TRS connector there. So when you plug in a lapel mic, it can't accidentally come unplugged and it does come with a really high quality, good sounding lapel mic as well. Headphone jack on there for monitoring your audio with headphones and tactile buttons with a screen that you can actually edit and change everything directly on the screen here. There's no certain functionality is locked out by a changing on an app or plugging in. You can do everything directly on here. And on the side here, if you wanna hit record, or if you wanna start recording, you have to slide it up there and it will record. And now it's very hard to accidentally stop recording. Like you have to physically hold this switch up to stop recording. So this is just a really reliable piece of audio gear if you need to shoot any form of audio with talent using a lapel mic and you just want something that is just just gonna work, it's just gonna work. Another nice thing with this is that it actually takes AAA batteries. And you might be thinking, well, why do I want batteries? I want something rechargeable. Well, you get 24 hours of use off of two lithium batteries. It's also hot swappable via USB-C there, which means if you plug it in via USB-C via a power bank, which is typically what I do when I record from the DJ's booth, because that's what I've been doing with this, because it is 32-bit float. That means if the batteries fail, it's still powered via USB-C. If you unplug the USB-C, but put new batteries in first, it's not gonna interrupt the power. Also with this, it saves the files every 20 seconds roughly, which means if you ever did have any interruption accidentally through power or whatever, you're always gonna have a closed off file that you still can use up until the point where that power interruption happened. This is built for performance and reliability and that's exactly what it is and why you should buy it. It's not exciting to buy, but it's one of those pieces of gear you'll buy once, it will serve you very well and it'll last probably forever. This is the moment I actually don't know the name of this. Gerald gave me this a while back and I love using this thing because it's so convenient. Basically, that is a MagSafe adapter and or magnet. So you can put your phone in there and as you can see, there's quarter inch 20 threads all the way around this. I put a plate on the bottom of here and this is how I record a lot of short form vertical content because it's so convenient. You can just take your phone off, put your phone back in and strain it up and then you're good to go. You don't have to mount anything extra to your phone. You don't have to put your phone in a special mount. It's just utilizing that MagSafe feature. I've used this a ton this year for all kinds of different reels and nothing comes close. So I really, really like that. I'll pop the uh, the link to this and all the other things I'm talking about in today's video down below for you. Short USB-C cables. USB-C cables, they're not all equal. Some are really great for data, some are great for transfer, some are good for everything. This one is good for everything, but also with this one, it's braided so it doesn't get knotted in your bag. It's also right angled so when you plug it into a wall, it doesn't stick out obnoxiously far. Now this is actually a two foot one. I have a one foot one version I really wanted to show for this, but I 
don't know where it is. It's probably packed in a bag somewhere, but that one for one is absolutely perfect for travel. I just really like a shorter USB-C cable for traveling. You can throw it in your bag when it's plugged into a portable charger. There's not all this excess cable that you have to worry about. It's USB-C 3.1, so it supports 10 gigabits a second for data transfer if you wanna use it with your hard drives. And the fact that it's pink means that it really is easy to find in your bag. If you think about it, most cables are black sometimes white, but most of them are black. And when you throw them in your bag, which is typically black, or your other camera gear is black, sometimes it's hard to see it. So this is just a really quick and easy thing to find because it is pink. Now, when it comes to chargers and travel chargers, there's a couple of different ones I actually really like. This one is called, uh, the company name is called JYJ ZPB. And the reason this one's good is because the two batteries go in here like this. And there is a memory card slot on the top there, but that closes up and then you just charge it on the side there. So it's really, really great for travel. Now my other one, if I need to charge more batteries faster, which when I use this, it seems to charge them faster than any other cables that I have. I don't know why that is, but that might be another reason you like these. But this is from XTAR. Now I don't believe they actually make this exact one anymore, but if you go on Amazon, you can find a bunch that are very similar to this. This one is actually modular, so, you can slide it off and you can change this for a different style of battery if you wanted to, or if you wanna just use four uh, Sony batteries, once it locks back together, you can put four in here and charge four batteries at once, which not a lot of chargers can do. And then another one I wanna show you, and we had to come outside for this one because it's a bag that I'm finding extremely functional when I'm coming out and about to do things and to shoot things and do quick jobs, and it's the iFootage Beaver roller bag. It's got roller wheels on it that you could use just like a regular carry-on. It's also got a handle on the top which comes up and these handles on the side here they go up and down. There's also a shoulder strap on there as well. There's pockets all around it. But the big thing I'll show you for this one is just the way that it's laid out on the inside because it's got this top part here which you can kind of use as like a shelf to set things up but also a tripod fits in there very nicely and then you can close it up like that, pick up the handles and walk away. But underneath it's your regular gear dividers and you can put things in there. This is a rig that I've been using a lot recently. You can configure this how you want it on the side there. The wheels are good and it's got that Velcro strap on the side there which you can thread through when you go traveling to go on your bag. It's not a bag that I thought I would love but the more I use it because it's so different in the way that you use it, you can just kind of pick it up, you can roll it, you can, I don't know, I really like it and you can put a rigged up FX6 in it if you just take this top shelf off as well. Now, if you travel a lot, you're flying and you have AirPods, you'll know that you don't really, you can't watch the movies on the plane because some planes now do have Bluetooth connection for AirPods, but most don't still. But if you get something like this, this one is called Airfly. This is a 3.5 mil adapter that plugs directly into the plane and allows you to connect your AirPods to it. Very simple, very easy, but incredibly convenient if you ever wanna just have a little bit of relaxation time and you're not editing on the plane, that works very well with that. Camera tools, something everybody needs in their bag, no matter what it is that you're doing, you need one. Now this was my previous favorite, it was the Peter McKinnon tool. It is a little bit overpriced for what it is and these little bits occasionally would come out, the magnets weren't quite strong enough, but generally speaking, in terms of strength and being able to tighten things up and having everything I need in one little tool. This was really good. Condor Blue now has this one, which is longer, but it's also a little bit thinner. And this is definitely now my favorite one. This is the EDC Morty tool because it's magnets on everything. It's almost like, that's very satisfying. It's almost like a fidget spinner. There's a little level on there. These little bits here magnetically attach because there's magnets all over it. You can put these wherever you want. There's multiple different places depending on what it is that you're screwing in and the leverage and where you need it to kind of fit. But everything goes in there nicely. This is rubberized grip on here. There's a little belt clip on the side there, flat head on the top of that as well. And these ones on the end, these are even longer. You can buy these with different configurations and different bits, but there's just magnets everywhere. So if you need to maybe use this one where this one's being used, like it's just a really well-designed tool. And uh, I love what Condor Blue has done with this. This is called the EDC Multi-Tool. I'll pop a link down below for you if you wanna pick up one of those. I talked about this before, I made a whole video about this, but this thing has been in my bag since PGY Tech sent it through. It's a USB-C card reader, but also a memory card holder holds one, two, three, four SD cards. There's a SIM tool there. You can put two SIM cards in, even though 
Everything is kind of eSIM now. Four micro SD cards. This is as fast, you can go and watch my video up here if you don't believe me, as the card slot on your MacBook Pro. So if you want a card reader that stores cards as well, this has been a lifesaver for me this year when I needed to transfer multiple things fastly, like dump multiple cards, because you can put a card in this and then a card in your MacBook at the same time. You can do two at once. So it just speeds things up. And then finally, if you have one of the iFootage tripods or monopods, you know that they have, or you can get these little bases here. And this, the reason I like the iFootage stuff is because it just functions well together. The synergy between the products is really good. The little head that I had earlier, I put my own base plate on the top. This will screw directly onto this. And it makes a really nice little tabletop tripod and it's very travel friendly and can support a ton of weight. You can adjust the legs here, depending on how you want them to, how high you want them to be. And you can move this around and this will hold a lot of weight. I've had my FX6 on this with a 7200, holds it easy. And their quick release system is very nicely designed as well. Now, I don't think you can buy these legs on their own. I think you have to buy them with a monopod, so note that. But yeah, if you want something that's a really sturdy tabletop tripod, that just, I don't know, it works really well. And because it all comes apart, it can go into your carry-on, it can even go into your check luggage if you wanted to, and it's just a great travel option. If you want to purchase any of the things that we talked about in today's video, there will be links for everything down below. Thank you to CRD Bag, which I'll also pop a link to down below for sponsoring today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.